What is up, survivors? For today's mod review, we're going to be talking about a pretty quick and simple one. This is called the Cement Mixer mod. And to be honest, I'm really not sure why I haven't found something like this before. It's kind of weird. Anywho, basically, the way this works is you make this cement mixer. This cement mixer will make cementing paste for you. So no longer are you raiding beaver dams or taming snails or farming chitin or any of that good stuff. You can actually just make cement. Honestly, this is one that just makes a whole lot of sense to me, right? I mean, we make obsidian, we make all metal bars, we make all the high-end stuff, usually with like chemistry stations and forges and fabricators, with the exception of cementing paste that we're still using chitin and rocks to make. This actually just, I don't know, it makes a lot more sense to me. I know you can make cementing paste on a chemistry station, but that's beside the point. Anyway, you're going to need two things. You're going to need an industrial grinder, which I really like the idea that this was more incorporated because I think this is an underused object. And then you're going to need the cement mixer. Cement mixer is unlocked at level 65. You'll craft it at a smithy. It costs fiber, metal bars, oil, stone, and wood to make. Once it's crafted, it's pretty straightforward. It does need to be irrigated, though. I do have an irrigation pipe down here. You do want this guy irrigated. Once it's irrigated, you'll be able to craft the cementing paste on this guy. This requires the gravel to make. This is an extra resource that got added in order for this to work. You also need gasoline for this thing to run. So... I went out and grabbed some stone. I'm gonna split this gasoline stack actually, so we can just use this. I'm gonna turn it on. Let's put like, I don't know. Um, put about 100 stone in there. We'll turn this guy on and we'll turn gravel. This is a one-to-one -one thing. And we'll just craft it. As you can see, we're getting, well, I'm sorry. I meant, I said one-to-one, -one, but it's one stone per 10 gravel is what we're looking at here. So we're just gonna let this guy run. So we get to about a hundred and then I'll pull this guy out and we'll test it out as far as making the cement paste. All right, so got a hundred gravel. We walk over to this guy, we drop our gravel in here, we drop our gasoline in here, turn this guy on, and we start making this. So let's see, one gravel makes five cementing paste. This is amazing. I love this. I, I feel like I've needed this in my life for a very long time, actually. Um, arc is, we gotta turn this off. And as you can see, it does make a little bit of noise, but the sculpt actually looks really good. It's really unique with the gasoline tanks running to the end. I love it. It works really well. It works just like you would expect it. Perhaps really fast, obviously, and we're seeing the results fly through this. You're going to have all your smacking paste. This is such an awesome idea, honestly. It's a very simple mod, but man, does it make a whole lot of sense. I like seeing that. It just makes sense to me. Like, again, I feel like... With cementing paste being such a mandatory resource for some of the higher end things, you often oftentimes find yourself, unless you're raiding beaver dams or if you're taming snails and having cementing paste organically made, you are constantly out hunting for chitin and hunting and and uh, making massive amounts of stone or collecting massive amounts of stone in order to have something like this. Uh, gosh, this just makes the life so much easier, you know. Um, this also means making polymer would be a lot easier, too, because you need the cementing paste and obsidian. So it's kind of a catch-22 when you make polymer. You're like, well, do I use my my cementing paste for that or do I save the cementing paste for other things or do I just go farm organic polymer? I don't have to worry about that now with something like this. Again, a super simple idea, but man, does it work really well. I did test this with the with the gravel with the uh, S. I mean, I have the SS mod running as well because I wanted to see if the better if the SS grinder actually uh, worked with this guy. I'm gonna spawn one in just to make sure. But at first glance, I did not see it in there. I could be wrong. Um, I like the SS and S plus grinders because they're smaller. Plus, they offer a lot more resources in here too. If you haven't checked out S plus or SS, I, I highly recommend checking those guys out. But as I can see, as a quick run through here. There is no option to make the gravel here. It looks like it just works with the standard grinder, which is probably one of my only critiques. I wish that maybe it would work with other grinders as well. I'm not sure how you would incorporate something like that, but that would be a cool thing to use. Um, but again, the ratio is insane, right? So if we get a chemistry bench in here, uh, just for sake of argument, right? Let's let's get a normal chemistry. Well, yeah, let's get it. What we'll do is we'll get a normal chemistry bench, hook it up to a generator and just see the cost uh, comparison between the two. All right, so we just fired up a quick generator, just spawn some things in just to get this chemistry station working. But what we're looking at here is cementing paste here. You're going to need chitin and 32 stone just to craft one of these guys. So let's spawn the resources in just to see everything real quick. 
All right, so what I've done is spawned a uh, a uh, chemistry station in and some electrical generator and you know everything in here, so we can kind of compare the two together, really, just to just to tell you, just to show you exactly how much easier this is. So if I turn this on, I can make cementing paste from 16 chitin and 32 stone. If I just craft one of these, it gives me six, right? So basically, you're getting six out of each one of these every time you do this, which you're only getting six cementing paste per. 32 stone and 16 chitin. Just, I mean, with, with a stack of stone alone, stack of stone and stack of chitin on vanilla settings, I'm only getting 18 cementing paste before I gotta go get more stone. Which is insane to me when I can just take a thing of stone and make a crap ton of gravel and just use this gravel to throw it over here, turn this guy on, and just run away from it. This is a pretty awesome invention. Um, obviously, you can turn it off, you can access the inventory. There does not seem to be a way to make this thing quiet, so if you're running this with other mods like SS or S-Plus that have quieter running machines, this will not work with that. You're going to hear noise. Um, that's pretty much it, though. It seems to... I mean, it's pretty much on a standalone standalone thing with the stone and the gravel, so... I mean, obviously, any map's going to have stone, so this is going to work with pretty much any mod that you want it to. All in all, I think it's a pretty awesome addition. It's such a simple one, but such a great addition, honestly. It just makes so much thing it makes things so much easier. And it looks great. It has the industrial feel, so it kind of it looks great with you know the chemistry bench and the fabricator and the, the grinder and the forge. Like it doesn't look like a very primitive thing like your mortar and pestle does. So I think it turned out really good. Um, my only my only critique would be, like I said, I wish it worked with like something like the SS or S plus grinders. That would be kind of cool. Or uh, maybe even a skin to make this look a bit more futuristic, maybe when you get to that end. But honestly, I kind of like it the way it is. I don't really want to change it. I would just, uh, that, that would be my only critiques as far as appealing to more people maybe. But all in all, this is awesome. I mean, just in the short time we've been sitting here, we have all this cementing paste hanging out in here. So again, hats off to the mod creator. I believe this might have been the first mod that the creator created. The creator created, is it right? Creator created. Anyway, it looks fantastic and i think they did a great job run smooth it's super easy super simple and i think a lot of times what we want with arc mods are just something simple like this a small little mod that just makes life so much easier but anyway guys that's it that's the cement mixer mod we will have a link to the workshop in the description of the video so you guys can check that out in your leisure and as always thanks for watching thanks for hanging out i'll see you guys on the next one